Mass shootings are on the front page of news outlets around the world tonight as investigators dig into why someone would do this. The suspect again, Robert Aaron Long. He faces a judge at noon tomorrow, answering multiple murder and assault charges, confessing to police. His motivation, he said, was, quote, addiction to sex. CBS 46's Adam Murphy digging into Long's past. So what do we know, Adam? Who is Robert Long? Well, good evening, Rick. I know it may be hard to believe, but a lot of people here in the community where his parents live referred to him as a good guy in this community. I know that uh, comes as a bit of a surprise for some based on what we have been hearing, but at this point in time, no one in this community wanted to talk about it on the record. They said out of respect for his family and the victims. The, to my opinion, that he was acting alone. Uh, there's no indication that anyone was working with him. 24 hours after the massage parlor murders occur, no one answered the door at the suspect's last known address in Woodstock. Neighbors said the parents of 21-year-old Robert Long live here and are well-liked in the community. One neighbor referred to the entire family as good Christians who are very involved with their church. Um, he made indica uh, ind indicators that um, uh, he has uh, some, some issues, uh, potentially uh, sexual addiction and um, uh, may have frequented some of these places in the past. The deadly shooting spree stunned the entire community. Long is reportedly a 2017 graduate of Sequoia High School, and he had religious roots, attending Crabapple First Baptist Church. Elders of the church released this statement saying, quote, we are grieved to hear the tragic news about the multiple deaths in the Atlanta area. We are heartbroken for all involved. We grieve for the victims and their families, and we continue to pray for them. Moreover, we are distraught for the Long family and continue to pray for them as well. It turns out Robert's parents actually assisted police in apprehending their son. I'm really appreciative of the family. Without them, this would not have happened as well as quickly as it happened. Um, they were very supportive, um, and certainly this was difficult for them. And a neighbor I spoke with who lives across the street from the suspect's family said she feels really bad for the suspect's parents, said they are good people. And she even gave an example saying that after a storm that happened in this community recently, the family came over and offered to remove a tree that had fallen down. Tough time for everyone involved. Live in Woodstock, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.